two live crew. That's right. Well, I can't ride with that because it doesn't work like that. Don't know why I'm singing what I'm saying to you. All right, what I want to talk about now is logical reasoning. Boxes are in right now, guys. Box in all your words. Okay, so the first thing we're going to look at is conditional statements. If something is a conditional statement, that means it has conditions. It depends on something. You're like, if you hear in the movies, they're like, we're going to send out the hostages, but here are my conditions. That means I'm going to do something for you, but it has to rely on something else happening. Okay, so conditional statements. Um, one of the most common conditional statements you hear are if, then. Okay, I don't know why my hand just went weird. I'm sorry. Okay, um, some, you know, if, then statements mean if, Blah, blah, blah happens, then blah, blah, blah will happen. So, for instance, you say, if you clean your room, then you get money, money, brah, you get paid, okay? You got if, you got then. All right, now, in an if-then statement, it's essentially split up into two parts, your if part and your then part. Your if part is called your hypothesis. Okay? It's what we're saying, you know, just like in science, you say a hypothesis means like, oh, I wonder if I try this, what's going to happen? That's essentially the thing you're going to do. And then your then statement is your conclusion. Okay? That means if you do this, then this will happen. If we clean our room, then we're going to get paid. Homie want to get paid. And by that I mean, I should probably never use the term homie again because I don't feel like that was comfortable coming out of my mouth. I cannot remember the last time I said homie, so I apologize. Um, I'm, I'm really sorry. I didn't mean to use a dollar sign like that. And I feel like I disrespected the dollar sign when I said that. So how about this? Can I say it again? Restart. <clears throat> if you clean your room, then you're going to get played. Paid. You might get played too. A lot of people money get played a lot because they got money. People play them. You're learning a lot more than math today, everybody. You're learning about life. Okay, so hypothesis, conclusion. If we clean our room, then we're going to get money. All right? Let's try it with the math version, okay? Let's say if... Let me see. Don't lose your patience, child. Uh, 4x plus 7. If 4x plus 7 is greater than 27... Then what? Well, I don't know. Let's work it. Let's see. Subtract 7. That's 20. Divide by 4. So it's 5. Then x is greater than 5. Okay? Cool. Now, if this is true, then this has to be true. Well, let's see. We got 4x plus 7. We subtract 7 from both sides. We got 20. Divide by 4. It's 5. Well, if that's true, then that's true. Uh, maybe a, bad, a better example would have been this. If this is true, does that mean this is true? If our x is greater than 5, does that mean our x has to be greater than 6? Or does that mean x is greater than 6? Not necessarily. Could have been 5 and a half. Okay? So, that brings me to my next point. It's called a counterexample. Hello. Thank you for coming to Tarver Academy. Please, subscribe, maybe 